Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at the next step kit in line here for the Witch for Mercury series, at least for me anyway. I'm a few kits behind at the moment, but this would be the regular Demi Trainer. We've already taken a look at the Choo Choo's version of the Demi Trainer, which did come with a very cool gun, which you can build using this option part set. So this is the expansion parts set for Demi Trainer. In this, you have that same weapon that we saw with the Choo Choo's version. We also have some other really cool weapons and accessories here in this part set. So we'll be taking a look at both. The main kit is gonna basically be the same so we'll take a look at that briefly and kind of focus more so on the expansion parts and how you can use them with this kit and with the Choo Choo's version of the Demi Trainer. Let's get into it. So we've got some really cool box art here on the front with a pair of Demi Trainers running along there. Some really beautiful detail here in the illustration as always. Some nice weathering, shading, and lighting effects all there. So really nice box art. And a pretty thin box as you can see. This is number 09 in the lineup. Some different photographs here on the bottom of the box showing some different action poses and the accessories. Looks like that's going to be limited to that gun, that shield, and this kind of baton there it looks like. Looks like we've got five different sticker options for the central chest section. And there's a photo of the kit completely unpainted straight out of the box, does look quite nice. On the other side, a full front and back photograph and a little bit about the series itself. Opening the kit up, we've got our stickers right there. The instruction manual featuring the same illustration on the front, just minus the background. The back side here, nice line art illustration there of the Demi Trainer and some information here in Japanese and in English about the beam gun shield our color guide is down the side of the manual there the staff antenna which would be that one right there on the head that's not the staff antenna that's the saber stick which as i said is more of a baton than a saber by any means but fair enough on the inside here is our parts list which is all in color and even this part up here is in color which is interesting it shows for the a parts the colors that are on the runner white gray and green are all right up there as well which is pretty cool and then here for the b runner it's all that color the C runner is all this gray color and then your sticker sheet right there. That's kind of interesting. I haven't noticed that in other Witch for Mercury manuals, but I'm assuming that's been standard for all of them. The rest of this is just all of our construction here. The first page is in color. All the inside of the manual there is all in black and white. Then here's a look at that foil sticker sheet, your stickers for the chest, and then for the cameras on the head there, I believe, those green ones. Our A runner, yes, which is here in gray at the top and bottom, clear green over here for the visor and the head, and then this off-white color there for some of the armor. Runner B is gonna be in this very light mint green color for our secondary armor color. And then runner C is gonna be our weapons and then frame type joint parts, stuff like that, detail parts here in a medium gray color, and that's it. Then next up, taking a look at the expansion parts set here on the front, you can see the Demi Trainer and Choo Choo's custom version of the Demi Trainer, and they're wielding some of the weapons that are included in the set here, so you can see some of those right there and in use on the different mobile suits there. So some really cool stuff, including some open hands for the Demi Trainer, which is always nice to have some hand option parts. As per the norm, this part set is in just a smaller box like this. This is actually marked as number 10 in the HG Witch from Mercury line. And here on the side of the box, you can see how this is gonna work very similar to like the weapon sets in the 30 minutes missions line, how the different parts are interchangeable just by swapping those parts out like that. And again, some of these sample images like what we have on the front of the box, including this one here with the Gundam Aerial. So on the inside, let's see what we got. We've got two runners, which are just all going to be in gray. That's not too surprising. Our instruction sheet here is just going to be in color there on the front, black and white here on the back. You do have a little bit of information up here about the weapons, at least the Daedalus and the Combat Knife. That's there in Japanese and in English. Around on the back side, you do also have a parts list. But as for a color guide, I'm not seeing anything on here unless I'm missing it somewhere. That said, it's just kind of all gray, so you don't necessarily really need that. The only thing you might have needed a sticker for would be for the back of the hands, which as shown in the box art are in that lighter green color like that. But those are just gonna be here in gray. I was expecting that maybe we were gonna have a sticker for those as well, or at least two stickers, but it looks like no stickers. You just have gray parts for the hands. There's the D1 runner. And this is going to be runner D2 here for all of the parts. Let's go ahead and check everything out. All right, guys, so here is the kit all built up. It's not going to be anything too different from the Choo Choo's custom version that we saw before. Obviously, just a little bit different colors. We have a little bit different part for the face there. But otherwise, the main body is going to be mostly the same. The main difference is also just going to be in the weapon. But again, we'll take a look at that in the later part of this after we briefly take a look at the main kit itself. 
we'll focus a lot more on a lot the option parts set for this which will give you some really great options for this and the regular Chuchu's version one if you want to use some of those parts on that kit as well. But anyway, as you guys can see, I've opted to go for the yellow markings on this out of the five different color options we have for these stickers here on the middle. You also have that green sticker right up in there for that camera. And then a green sticker here for the camera on the tiny cute little beam rifle that you have with this. Although it's simple and just two pieces slapped together, it's minimal on the seam lines, which is nice for an HG weapon. Other accessories here going to just include the commander antenna there for the head, which is pretty funny looking, but it's nice that you have that option to make it like that if you want to. I guess it's not a commander antenna, staff antenna is the correct word to say. Here in the back for the backpack, you have your standard two peg system there. This is the backpack that you have included with this and that'll just plug right onto there, but you could plug different backpacks onto here if you wanted. That'll plug onto there like that. And then you have optional points here on the sides to plug different option parts on there. Like for example, the saber stick or baton, whatever you might want to call this. That can plug there onto the side of the backpack or as it's shown in the manual here onto the side of the side skirt where it's lacking any side skirt. You can plug that onto the side of there like that. Or I mean here onto the side of the arm or here onto the side of the knee. I guess it would probably fit there as well too, right? Yeah, I mean, it'll fit there. So if that's where you want to put it, you're all good. That or any other kind of option part that you might want to put on there. And then the only other accessory we're going to have for this is then just going to be the shield, which is very simple. This will plug onto the forearm. This will go into the hand. So you'll have a nice strong connection for that. And it's just a nice wide open space for putting some decals or painting or something on there. If you want to like weather this up, I think it's a nice big wide open surface for that. A little bit plain, yeah, but it'll be nice once that's painted and decaled up, I think. So that's basically it for the main Demi Trainer kit. Nothing too fancy and just comes with a couple of simple accessories, but for a just kind of grunt kit, if you guys like grunt kits, this is a really good solid one. The articulation is really nice. The details and everything, the part separation, the lack of too much seam line really on this is really nice. So it's a really fun kit if you just want a kit, like I said, if you're a fan of grunts, you want a kit that you can build and paint and have fun with, do some weathering on there. You could very easily paint this up in the style of more kind of like Votoms or something like that if that's what you're into. Obviously it has a very similar kind of aesthetic appeal so it's a really nice kind of simple blank canvas kit that you can do a lot with and that's what I really like about the Demi Trainer. And as for the expansion parts that you basically have two main weapons, you have your long rifle which is the same one that we've seen with the Choo Choo's version of the Demi Trainer. This part right here will plug onto the front skirt and then you can kind of swivel this around and change the angle of that and then your handles also will turn your front and back handles on that. You have this little piece right here for the wire, unfortunately the wire was not included with this set but you can also just omit that piece if you wanted to just leave that out of the back there. Well, the barrel here at the front just plugs on just kind of your standard three millimeter peg here like that so keep that in mind we'll come back to that in just a second our other main weapon is going to be this gatling gun style weapon here like this this weapon is made up of basically three main sections your barrel section and this drum section which has a handle on it which you can omit that too if you wanted to and we'll omit that here in just a minute but then kind of your handle section like this one option for the handle section is basically a power saw like that. So you can just turn this into just like a piece of machinery here, a giant power saw. And then similarly, you could just turn that into a giant power drill here with this drill attachment part there like so. Or if you wanted to omit the barrel section in the middle, you can just plug the Gatling gun onto the front of there like that. And then as I mentioned, the barrel of the long rifle can also just be taken out and that's just all on the same system of just using a standard three millimeter peg style hole there. If you wanted to have the ammo drum there in between and just have this long rifle here like that. And alternatively, any of the different barrel parts can then be plugged onto here onto the long rifle. So you have the same uh, little camera piece here, which goes on the side of it like that. Again, the same like with what we saw with the uh, Choo Choo's Demi Trainer. But if you didn't want to use that little camera on there, you can also plug the ammo drum. We'll take out the handle, plug the ammo drum onto the side of there, and then we have this little belt piece which will connect up underneath. The ammo belt goes into there, and now you've got a big, long Gatling gun, which does also look pretty cool. And if you wanted to get really crazy with it, I mean, you could then plug one of these other barrels right into the front of there like that and have it have two barrels or, you know, you can, you can just get creative with it. We do also have this little part here, which would be like a little also kind of Gatling gun, different kind of style one or a little missile launcher or something. Now you have two different connection pieces for that. 
this little one will plug into there like that and you can plug it onto the front of here which does look pretty cool like that or we use a different connection piece here which has a ball joint on the end and with this one you're going to replace the hand pop that onto there and now he has a little machine gun hand which is pretty cool now you only get one of these in the set so if you wanted to do two hands you'd have to get buy two of this set but i think that could also look pretty cool having the two machine gun hands like that but we do also of course have just open hand option parts with this set. And like I mentioned, the back is not the correct color, but if you did want to have one of the hands open, you have both a left and right side hand here for this to have just an open resting hand, which is a nice option part as well. And then lastly, we have the combat knife. Now, like with the baton in the main kit, it has a little connection piece that you can plug for storing this either onto the side skirt, the side of the arm, the side of the backpack up here, the side of the leg. It doesn't have anywhere to store this on the back skirt, but if you just drill a hole in there, this could be a nice place to store that as well. Just right here on the back skirt it could be cool. But there you have it, guys. I'll show you a few different options that you can do with this, but as you can see, there's a lot of different ways that you could swap these parts around, and that's only using just what's in this expansion set uh, with these kits. If you want to then bring in some other different parts from a different set or especially 30 minutes missions a lot of this stuff would be compatible with a lot of the 30 minutes missions weapons and option part sets and all that stuff would go very well with a kit like this so you have a lot of options available to you if you want to buy the demi trainer is this expansion set required for i wouldn't necessarily say that i think the demi trainer on its own is a perfectly fine kit you get some just basic simple accessories with that kit and as i was saying a minute ago i like the simplicity of that kit it's a really nice kit on its own does this expansion set definitely give you a lot more options? Of course, and then you're not gonna be able to use everything with this kit, so then you'll have more option parts that then you could use with other kits as well. So it's definitely a nice thing to pick up at the same time. If you're just wanting some more options for your Demi Trainer, I would highly recommend picking up the expansion set as well, but certainly not required. It's just nice to have some more options there, of course. And if you guys are interested in picking up any of the kits from the Witch from Mercury, of course you can do that at USA Gundam Store. The link will be down in the video description below where you guys can pick out the kits, tools, paints, supplies, anything else that you guys might need. So check that out. Thank you all so much for checking out the video today. If you have further questions or comments about either of these sets, do definitely let me know in the comment section below. Below. What are your guys' thoughts on this kit and this option part set? And while you're here, if you'd also like to like and or subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. But until next time, guys, hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.